The information in this video is provided for informational and educational purposes only. Welcome to Dose of DN, where you'll get a little shot of what my life is like living with SMA. The Nike Saga continues. After a year of trying to get my hands on the Nike Go Flyies, you'll see today if I actually did. This is my third try at getting these shoes. They were sold out right away when they launched because they were only offered to social media influencers. Well, I wasn't one of them, and I really don't care for that concept. But I guess it worked because I still wanted to get my hands on a pair. When they finally became available about a year later, I ordered them. Well, my second choice color because the first choice was sold out. But lo and behold, Nike sent the wrong shoe. So I returned those, got a credit, and ordered them again. I'm nothing if not persistent. So, will the third time be the charm? Let's find out. They sent the right shoe this time. Here's how the mechanism works to make them easy on, easy off. Now for the true test. Will they fit? Up, down. Nope. My foot's not in it all the way. Hmm. Your foot doesn't go in it all the way. I know. Huh. No. Should I try the other one for the fun of it? Sure. Your foot doesn't go in it all the way. No. Oh, it's too narrow, I think. It's such a cool concept. But... See, your heel doesn't go all the way in. Yeah. But then, look, okay. Can you point out, like, where my toe is? Right there. <laughs> huh. It's like shoving a potato into a shoe. Isn't that a bummer? Yeah. Now, do you want to try both on? See how they fit you? Yeah. Wasn't that slick? I guess I'll be sticking with my good old Crocs. I had such high hopes for that shoe. It really is a cool concept, and I thought it would work. Unfortunately, with what the material on top, that mesh material was made up of, it doesn't have any flexibility, and without adjustability on top, there's just no way my foot was fitting into the shoe. And I'm not going to order up a size because there'd be a mile of empty toe space, and I think it would kind of just look funny. Fortunately, though, when my mom tried the shoes on, they fit her like a glove, and she loved them. So she's going to hang on to them, which saves me the hassle of returning them. Which, for me, is a hassle. Because after I print the label, I have to find someone to box up the shoe. I have to find someone to tape the label onto the shoe. And then I have to find someone who can bring it to the UPS store or schedule a UPS pickup. And it can be done, and I would have done it, but I'm glad the shoes are going to a good home. So, 
you might ask, you're in a wheelchair. Why do you need to wear a pair of shoes? Well, it's just one more thing that if I'm wearing shoes makes me less different than everybody else. And plus, having a shoe is comfortable for the most part if you can find the right shoe. Without structure, I've noticed that I've had a lot of foot problems like my ankle turns and I can get pressure sores on the bottom of my foot. So having a shoe does provide a little bit of um, comfort and warmth and structure. So those are some of the reasons that I wear shoes. But it's really hard to find shoes that work for me. I guess I'll just be sticking with my Crocs for now. If you guys have suggestions or have something you want me to try out, list it below or over on the forums and I'd be happy to take a look. But that's all I have for you today. We'll talk again soon. Bye for now.